Okay guys, before I start this video, let's just take a moment and look how cute this little guy is. Hi guys, for those of you that have just clicked on this video and haven't seen my channel before, my name is Danny. How are you? Nice to meet you. Welcome. Hope you enjoy and if you do, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you'll be updated with my weekly videos. So when I was living over in America, I did a video titled America vs New Zealand where I just talked about the differences I found from living over there. On that video, I got a lot of comments from people who were saying that they want to move to New Zealand or they were just asking me questions about New Zealand. Today I'm going to be your New Zealand guru and answer all these questions for you. If you have questions regarding anything at all that I don't answer please just feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I would also love to know where you guys are from. I find it really interesting to know where people are watching my videos from so leave a comment down below on which country you guys are from and let me know if you are looking to move to New Zealand or if you love your home country and you want to stay there. So anyway today's video is going to be on the pros and cons of living in New Zealand. I was born here so I was born in New Zealand. I lived in America for a bit last year but other than that I've spent my whole life here. So hopefully this video will help you if you're looking to move here or maybe if you're just interested in finding out more about this beautiful country. <laughs> I've got a massive massive list here of all the pros and cons I could think of. The pros list is very very full and the cons list is quite a bit shorter which I think must be a good thing eh. So I'm going to start off with the pros and then end the video with the few cons of living in New Zealand and being a Kiwi. The first biggest pro to New Zealand I think is the people. In general the people here are very very laid back, very chilled, very very friendly. Everyone in New Zealand is generally pretty nice and people will often like say hey to each other when they're walking down the street and will be willing to go out of their way to help strangers which I think is very very cool. With this laid back lifestyle I'd say a lot of Kiwis have quite a good work life balance. I feel like New Zealanders just do whatever job they want and you don't really get judged for it. If you just want to be a cashier or something no one really cares. You're not really defined by your job here in New Zealand. People will look at you as the broader amazing person that you are, not just your career. Another thing I love about New Zealand is it is very very safe. New Zealand is one of the safest places in the world. For example, some people that I know have the most beautiful house and they never lock it. There's actually a policeman who lives there as well so you'd think he'd be like real anal about this but he never ever locks his house and it's never been broken into and their car keys are like sitting right by the front door half the time. No one's stolen the car either so I guess a lot of people are quite chill about that but I don't know if I'd be quite as relaxed because my boyfriend's car did get broken into the other weeks. Not perfect but as far as it goes New Zealand is generally pretty safe. So because it's so safe New Zealand is a pretty cool place to raise kids. I'm really happy that I got to grow up here. It is a beautiful place. We have great schools, great universities. Our universities are definitely not as competitive as what it seems like in the US. Like from the impression I got of being in the States. What school you went to was a really defining moment like that is going to make an impact on you for the rest of your life. In New Zealand all our universities are of a really high standard so it doesn't really matter too much what university you want to go to. I guess it does depend on what you're studying but overall you can't really go wrong with picking a university in New Zealand and it's pretty easy to get accepted into. So my number one pro of getting to live in New Zealand would have to be the absolutely stunning natural beauty this country has. I feel like overall whenever I'm in New Zealand I just have like this constant feeling of relaxation and peacefulness like I just feel really at peace here. It's just a really beautiful place to be. So for a small country we really do have a big range of different landscapes. So there are rainforests, mountains, desert areas, black sand beaches, white sand beaches, hot springs, all of this great natural stuff right at your fingertips. And because New Zealand is such a small country you can only really drive like a couple of hours until you go into a body of water. I'm pretty much just trying to say that there are beaches all around the entire country and you'll never be too far away from one. The beaches are generally pretty uncrowded. Even in the summer the beaches don't get too crazy. So because we're a small country you really only have to travel relatively short distances to experience a whole lot of different places. For example in my hometown it's like a 10 minute drive to the beach and then like a half hour drive up to our mountain where you can go skiing and snowboarding and hiking and all of that. If you're an outdoorsy person New Zealand is the place for you. There are a lot of extreme outdoor adventure sports that people are into here. Another thing about being outdoors here is that there's no 
real dangerous wildlife but compared to most countries and even like Australia where they've got like a lot of snakes and poisonous spiders New Zealand doesn't really have anything that's gonna hurt you I mean maybe you get stung by a bee but um you're probably not gonna die is what I'm saying if you go outside so overall New Zealand is just a really nice place to be able to enjoy the scenery wherever you are around the country so one of the questions that I got is how easy is it to start a business in New Zealand I have a bit of experience with this because I have started a couple of my own small businesses myself and I know that last year New Zealand ranked as the top place of ease of doing business the easiest place to do business in the world by the World Bank's latest ratings and this was in 2016 so if if you're wanting to start a company here I guess there's not too much paperwork and not as many strict laws and regulations that will stop you from being able to start a company it's still not easy but there are a lot of support for startups Wellington has a huge startup community this is where I have been where I've done a business accelerator program and several other things regarding entrepreneurship there's a lot of support down here so New Zealand has a pretty small population we've only got four and a half million people in the whole entire country and a quarter of those people live in Auckland but Auckland is by far New Zealand's biggest city a few people have been asking me if Auckland's the best city to move or Auckland versus Wellington I personally am living in Wellington at the moment and I far prefer Wellington than Auckland but it's all personal preference because Auckland is a lot bigger in terms of population there are a lot more opportunities job wise and probably a lot more things to do and a bit more cultural diversity up there Wellington I feel is a little bit more laid-back it's a very arty creative little city another pro is the food the food here hasn't really been genetically modified and all that kind of stuff when I was in America I just remember seeing this giant onion like it was the biggest freaking onion I've seen in my whole entire life by far and that shit was not natural like I've never seen an onion that big in New Zealand so our foods are just like the regular size here New Zealand has a lot of farmers markets which is pretty cool and we have a lot of local produce so we like to support a lot of small local companies there are also a lot of family-run companies in New Zealand which is pretty cool I feel like it would be probably a little bit easier to have your own family-run company here in New Zealand compared to someone like America when you've got those giants like Walmart trying to compete with them is impossible things are less political and not as crazy so there's no real sharp political divides in New Zealand our left-wing party is Labour and our right-wing party is national so say if I supported Labour and my friends supported national I am still gonna be friends with them I I really couldn't care less who they support I don't really feel like it says a whole lot about the person anyway because both of our parties are really kind of in the middle compared to the more extremes in America you know like if someone tells you that they support Trump you may decide that that tells you a little bit more about who they are compared to if they just say they support national in New Zealand it's not quite as extreme it's not too hot or too cold so the average temperature in the summer is around 20 degrees which is 68 degrees Fahrenheit and the coldest average temperature is around 11 degrees which is 52 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter not too hot not too cold so someone messaged me and asked me if they do move to New Zealand would racism be a problem are there racist people in New Zealand so I feel like with that question you are gonna get pockets of discrimination and racism everywhere in the world I can't come on here and say no one in New Zealand is racist because I'm sure some people in New Zealand are racist just as I'm sure some people in England and some people in America and some people in Africa are racist because sadly that's just the way the world is. New Zealanders are generally very accepting of everyone. It doesn't matter what your cultural background is, no one really cares. Everyone will just be totally happy to be friends with whoever, which is of course how it should be. We have freedom and liberal attitudes in politics, gender equality, gay marriage. We have general just acceptance of everyone. Just don't be a dick, just don't be a dick and New Zealanders will like you. Another pro is that New Zealanders are generally pretty trustworthy. I don't know if every country has these or not, but we have a lot of honesty boxes. People will just be selling something like fruit on the side of the road, but they won't actually be of the fruit themselves. They'll just be like a little stall in an honesty box where you pay like $2 and grab a little bag of fruit. Obviously we do rely on trust a lot and most of the time this isn't broken, which is pretty cool. We can all do stuff like this. Another pro is work-wise, if you're working in a trade, like you're a builder, or a plumber something like that I'd say you'd have a pretty good chance of getting a job wherever you go because there's a lot of building companies in New Zealand we're building a lot of shit around the place so you're a builder 
you're gonna get a gel pair. But now moving on to the cons, I would say overall New Zealand does lack a lot of opportunities regarding jobs. I would say because it's definitely a place that doesn't have that many large companies, you're gonna get a job more so based off who you know rather than what you know. So networking is definitely a huge thing due to the smaller market size. I feel like our population is definitely growing but our job numbers are not really growing at the same level. I don't know if that's actually right but it's how it feels. I am looking at moving to Los Angeles and possibly Sydney for a bit of my life simply because New Zealand is too small in my opinion. For the type of career I want I just feel like New Zealand is very, very small so I do need to go to a bigger city like one of those places for a little while. Other than that New Zealand is pretty sweet. So another con is that international travel is really really hard. So we're pretty close to Australia and the Pacific Islands it only takes a few hours to get over there. But other than that we are literally at the bottom of the freaking planet but it takes forever if you want to go over to America or anywhere in Europe it's literally the other side of the world. So this could also be seen as a pro if you don't like people and you just want this beautiful country all to yourself then you've got it you don't need to go anywhere else but if you do like travel if you want to go to bigger cities definitely very expensive you don't really get any cheap plane tickets out of New Zealand even domestic plane tickets are quite expensive cost of living the price of owning a home is getting really expensive especially in Auckland it's almost impossible for a lot of young people to buy houses so a lot of people are just renting because they can't afford to buy a house you're definitely going to want to have a good paying job to be able to keep up with the cost of living. Everything is pretty much expensive in New Zealand, especially petrol. When I was in America, it was like the third of the price as what it is in New Zealand. So yeah, petrol's a big one and food. On this little article I've got up here, I don't know if this is right, but it says the price from everything from milk to makeup is around double in New Zealand as it is in the USA. I don't know if it's double, but it definitely is more expensive for sure. I guess this is mainly because of all the imported items we have to get here. There is a bit of a lack of consumer choice and good value quality clothing. So there definitely is good quality clothing here and some really awesome New Zealand designers but I feel like they're really expensive. But we don't have a lot of the brands that America has and you have to pay like $10 million shipping plus your soul to get things sent to New Zealand which is really fun. But no, actually online shipping is getting cheaper so I buy a lot of things online. New Zealand has a lot of earthquakes. We have about 15,000 earthquakes every single year. Now that does sound like a lot but most of them you don't actually really feel because they're so deep underground that we don't feel them but we do definitely still feel a few earthquakes and Christchurch had a really really bad earthquake a few years ago that did a lot of damage to the city that they're still going to be rebuilding for a very long time to come. Last year when I was in America there was also a pretty bad earthquake which had affected parts of the South Island and Wellington actually quite a few areas in New Zealand it really did quite a lot of damage. The earthquakes aren't like the most insane thing ever so I definitely want to let that put you off but there are occasions earthquakes so just how it is. Another con although you could see it as a pro but I kind of see it as a con everyone in New Zealand knows everyone. I mean not quite everyone like I don't literally know everyone in this country but when you meet a new person there's like a really good chance that you're only about three people away from them or like they know this person and you know that person or they're friends of a friend or oh that's this person's second cousin like because it's a small country there's only so many people you can meet so my advice would be to not muck anyone around because it will probably come back and bite you in the ass and you'll be wanting to go to that person to get help for something and they're not going to give it to you so be nice to everyone another con that you usually wouldn't think about is that skin cancer is a real thing in New Zealand and our sun can be very very damaging so New Zealand is right under the ozone layer and less ozone means more UV rays more UV rays equal more sun damage and skin cancer so a lot of people find they get sunburned super easily in New Zealand compared to other places around the world. I think that about covers all the pros and cons that I can think of right now. Overall New Zealand is just an absolutely stunning country. I think the only real negative is that it can be a little small when you are trying to build your career and when you're young and want to get out there and travel places it's quite hard to do so if New Zealand is where you're based. But if you're trying to raise a family or you want to start a business, anything like that, then New Zealand is the place for you. We would love to have you, so feel free to ask me any more questions you have. I'm also thinking about doing a video dedicated to tips on how to actually move here. So let me know if that's something you would be interested in. Any video requests down below will be awesome. If you made it to the end of this video, you are such a star. Why don't you just go ahead and hit subscribe and then, you know, you'll totally make my day. And give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Alrighty, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video.
Bye.